Hello kids, happy Monday everybody. Well, it's Monday again. I've been waiting for Monday because I saw you last on Thursday in Zoom class and then there was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. I waited four days. Wow, that was hard, huh? But guess what? As I was waiting, I thought I should maybe think of something to do so that I don't get tired of waiting. So guess what I did? I baked something this weekend. I did lots of chores in the house and I did a lot of things. Well, that got me busy and I wasn't thinking of waiting anymore. But I remember something. As I started to bake, I started to make bread. And did you know what? When you make bread, you have to knead the dough, put all the ingredients together, and then wait. Wait, yes, again. I had to wait for the dough to rise before I could knead it again and shape it like bread. And then I waited again before I could bake it. Oh, wow. This waiting, this waiting, we have to do a lot of waiting. Do you do a lot of waiting too? Do you sometimes have to wait for mom and dad to do something? Do you sometimes have to wait for maybe something that you want to buy and then they say, oh, let's buy it next time. Or do you wait in the grocery store when you're in line before you get to pay? What about waiting for your turn when you're playing with your brother? What about waiting for your turn to be next in the bathroom? Do you have to wait for those things? Waiting is part of life, huh? We wait all the time. And guess what? Ideas, ideas for when you're waiting. You know what is? I have an idea. You start counting. Like, count how many seconds does it take for me to wait? So, while you're waiting, let's say, for your turn, you start counting. Look around your house and say, hmm, why don't I count squares? Look everywhere around your house and see if you find squares. Just right now, as I'm sitting here, I can count how many squares do I have in my house. One, two, three, four. Well, there are a lot of things to count. And if you're waiting, sometimes, oh, a lot of people don't like waiting. But, well, counting things is something that you can do while you're waiting to pass the time. Right? And it's something fun, too. You get to discover a lot of things. What about if you're in the car and you're going somewhere and you're waiting and waiting and you're asking, Mom, are we there yet? How many more minutes before we get there? Aha, uh -huh. do you say that? Well, it would be a good time to look outside your window and check out the buildings, check out the houses, check out the different stores that you can find. Start counting buildings. Start looking at the buildings. Start talking about them. Are they tall? Are they short? How many buildings are there? Right? Since we're talking about buildings anyway, you can ask and say, what is that building for? Who lives in that house? What do you think they make in that big, big building? Oh, those are great questions to ask because buildings are everywhere and there must be something in there. There must be something they're doing there, like grocery stores. That's where we buy food and we all need food. What about in the restaurant? What do you do there? Oh, that's where we eat. Just so many things to do and to think of while we wait. So I hope that you have a good time waiting. And I'm going to see you on Tuesday, okay, for a Zoom class. And while you're waiting, start counting. Have fun. Bye-bye.